Bhutan's aquatic biodiversity is not well studied, but we know it's one of the most pristine river systems now in the region. Being in the Himalayas, I think for Bhutan, uh, rivers are very important. It's like the uh, veins in our body, and uh, they really uh, drive uh, a lot of inspiration. Uh, not just from a physical aspect, but also culturally, traditionally, and also from a spiritual perspective as well. This Manas River is biggest and longest river in Bhutan. Golden Mashir, scientifically known as Tor Putra, it's widely found in Manas, and uh, it is critical endangered species. Without it, without that golden, it will be very difficult to maintain the ecosystem of the river because it plays a very pivotal role in food chain as a top predator. We always consider them as the tiger of the river because of the various reasons. One reason is this, that they have so much of strength compared to other fishes. They can go up to like 40, 50 kilos in, in sizes. Like they can be seen on four, three, four feet long. Just imagine like having four feet a wild fish running in the river and when you see them in the water, it's amazing. Golden Mashir is, has a very, uh, you know, it has a very important cultural significance. It is one of eight lucky signs in Buddhism, uh, which is the golden fishes, uh, which is associated with uh, really uh, this freedom, you know, uh, freedom uh, in water. There's a lot of like cultural and uh, spiritual association, but other than that, I think people really didn't uh, seem to know much about uh, the freshwater biodiversity and their role. Uh, and the important ecosystem services that they provide. Before going for fishings, uh, what we usually do is look for a base spot for uh, construction of receiver stations. We select a very good fishing spot. We go there, we fish. If we catch a fish and we have a standard size then only we anesthetize the fish, we implant the tag and uh, let it recover for a while. Once the fish is fully recovered, then only we release them. In the marshy range countries, now Bhutan is the last remaining country, you know, where you can find pristine wild uh, genetic stock of golden marshy. The good thing in Bhutan is that we recognize the importance of renewable clean energy. We recognize the importance of uh, freshwater conservation. The authorities and the government the people are willing to sit across the table and listen. You know, that's why this radio telemetry study was very important because you know I we used to have dialogues among the environment colleagues because if you want to go and have a serious discussion with the guys from the uh, industry, you know we also need to have the data to tell them. We cannot just you know, say, oh, this is important for golden machine, because the next thing they're going to ask you is that, do you have the migrations data? You know? So now we have the migration data, we have the spawning data. Now we can clearly demarcate those areas and say, these, these areas need to be protected. And that's why I think these five years of study was very important. 